The one main circle theorem that you must be able to name in the exam is called the alternate segment theorem. And it's quite simple. If you've got a tangent, which is a line which just touches the circle, and if we know the angle x here from the tangent up to the triangle, then the opposite angle, the one up here, is also x. So it's not quite your z angles you might know from before, the angle opposite will equal x. Similarly, if you know this whole angle here is y, then the angle over here will also equal y. So you must learn that configuration for the exam. And this problem just shows you an application of that. So what angles can we find in this shape? Well, actually quite a lot. Now, the alternate segment theorem tells us that if this angle here is 60, then look at this triangle here, the angle opposite up here must also be 60. So that's the alternate segment theorem applied. We also know that if that's 140, then opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180. So this angle here must be 40. We can therefore find more as well. Because if that's 140, these mean this is an isosceles triangle. So these two angles here are the same. So that plus that plus that's 140. They must both be 20. 20 plus 20 plus 140 is 180. We can find this angle here due to a triangle. 40 plus 60 is 100, so this must be 80. And then this angle down here can be found in various ways, but probably the simplest, 20 plus 80 100, plus 60 160, that therefore must also be 20. And we can check our answer, that angle there is 40 in total, and the opposite angle is also 40, so yes. That all seems pretty correct.